friends, welcome back to my channel and a special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Point. Today I am sharing with you an instant pot recipe that is so good. It is healthy, it is filling, it is comfort food, it is full of vegetables and both my husband and myself absolutely loved it. Now if you don't have an instant pot, you can make this recipe either on the stovetop or in a slow cooker. So I'm really excited to share this with you. I am planning on bringing out more recipe videos for you guys in 2022. In addition to my meal prep and the recipe that I share in my what I eat in a day, I really wanna focus on more dedicated recipe videos. So today we are making instant pot chili. So if you are excited for instant pot chili, give this video a huge thumbs up. And if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. I do upload five days a week, so make sure you hit the bell next to it so you're notified whenever I post. Check out the description box for nutrition coaching. I offer personalized macros and calories and one-on-one -on -one coaching if you want to chat with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and my instant pot that I love is down in the description box and don't forget to come on over join us on Facebook we'd love to have you so let's make instant pot chili for today's instant pot recipe I am making instant pot chili now you can also make this in your crock pot or on the stovetop this is loaded with vegetables loaded with protein and fiber just a really well-rounded lunch or dinner especially for the colder months so let me show you what's in our recipe first you're going to need some beef broth salt and pepper one large can or two small cans of tomato sauce a can of green chili fire roasted diced tomatoes and any type of bean of your choice. I'm going with red kidney beans, and then you'll need a bell pepper, any color will do, a couple of small zucchinis or one large zucchini, an onion, extra lean ground beef, a eight ounce package of mushrooms, minced garlic, and lots of seasoning. Chili powder, cumin, bay leaves, and garlic powder. The first thing I need to do is chop up my bell pepper, chop up my zucchini, and my onion. So the first thing we're going to do is brown the ground beef. So I'm going to set my Instant Pot to saute. Once it's hot, we'll add in the ground beef. Now we're going to add in the pound of ground beef. And we're going to let that mostly brown before we add in the garlic and our veggies. Now we're going to add in our minced garlic. I'm going to give quite a big squeeze of minced garlic. And then we're adding in all our veggies, mushrooms, onions, bell pepper, and zucchini. We're going to allow the veggies to saute down as well as the garlic to add some yummy flavor to the veggies and the meat. My mushrooms are kind of large, the pieces, so I'm going to break those up a little bit while I stir. Now we're going to add all the remaining ingredients. It is still on saute mode. I'm letting those veggies just soften even more, but I'm going to add two cups of beef broth. One can of drained and rinsed kidney beans or whatever bean you choose. Two cans of tomato sauce or one large can. One can of fire roasted diced tomatoes and one can of mild green chilies. We're going to add in a couple of bay leaves. Next up is chili powder. It says either a quarter cup to a third of a cup depending on how much chili and spice you want. So I'm going to add about a third of a cup of chili powder, a tablespoon of garlic powder, two tablespoons or so of cumin, and some salt and pepper. We're going to stir this all together really, really well before getting the Instant Pot ready to start cooking. We're going to put our lid on, set it to pressure cook or high for 20 minutes. 
All right, it is done. We are going to allow it to naturally release for about 10 minutes and then we'll manually release any additional steam, but it smells absolutely delicious. Oh my goodness, look at this, yum. This looks so delicious. You can see the ground beef, all the veggies. I am going to remove all of the bay leaves and then I will plate this up. We are going to top our chili with some cheese and sour cream. You could add crackers. I am pretty excited for this. So let me get this plated up and then I'll be back to share points and calories. So here is my Instant Pot Chili. This looks so delicious. I wish you could smell how good this smells, but I did add two tablespoons of light sour cream and one quarter cup of the light shredded cheese on top. That way it adds that little bit of cheesiness and I love the creaminess that the sour cream gives it. You could also use non-fat Greek yogurt if you would rather, but the entire Instant Pot makes only six servings. I will go ahead and put the points and calories here on the screen for you. I cannot wait to dig into this true comfort food and so easy in the Instant Pot. Thank you for joining me for tonight's Instant Pot recipe. I hope you enjoyed seeing this amazing chili recipe packed with protein, packed with vegetables, fiber. It was really, really good. The sour cream and the cheese game changers on that chili. I will make sure this recipe is on my website. The link will be down in the description box along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group. Come on over, join us there. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.